My name is Ron Frew. I'm the lead assessor for Fulford Grain Safe. I've been uh, assessing for the last three years. One of the biggest problems out there with operators and why they're not getting through is they're not showing load control. So what we're going to demonstrate today is showing load control uh, through a target course and what it's and how to correct the load when it is swinging because that seems to be the biggest problem out there. I'm Jason Gilmore. I'm with Phoenix Truck and Crane. This is a crane we're going to be using for the demonstration today. It's an NBT 45 ton stiff boom crane. It's 127 feet of boom mounted on a single tri Peterbilt tractor. Okay, I'm going to get the ball swinging side to side with the chains on it, and Jason's going to correct it. But how you do that is you wait till the ball gets all the way to that point and then you swing over top of it, right? So when that ball swings all that way, at that point, I'm going to get Jason to swing over top of it and he will catch the ball and then land it in the circle. So, so I swing back on the apex of the ball, catching it. Now as it hits the peak and it's come back, I swing back with it the other direction and it's caught. Okay, now the ball is nice and still. He can work his way back to the circle put the chain inside the circle. Okay, I'm going to get the ball swinging back and forth. Jason is going to catch the load. The way to catch that load is wait until it gets to the top of its apex and then boom up and catch it. Just before it gets to the top of its swing where it's going to start coming back, it's always easier to catch a load when you're booming up rather than booming down. Jason's about to show us how to catch this load in one move. Okay, so anytime he's ready, I will tell him, go ahead. So as you can see, he's caught that load and landed in the circle with one move. What we're going to do here is show what happens when an operator starts operating way too fast. What happens is your boom takes off, but your ball stays where it's at and lags behind. And then when you get over the target, it's swinging all over the place, not taking off in a controlled fashion. Right? So Jason's going to demonstrate what happens when you take off too quickly and don't allow for your ball to stay underneath the boom. Okay, go ahead, Jason. Okay, as you can see, the ball is swinging all over the place. Now he's got to work at losing time, trying to control it, and trying to catch the ball. And it's costing him time. And not only that, it's a dangerous situation. Right, so now he's going to take off and go to the next target in a controlled fashion. As you can see, he was in control of the block and the load at all times. It was underneath the boom, and that got rid of all the swinging in and out and back and forth. 